What's up YouTube? I'm Trent Weldon. Welcome back to the channel. Things are going to look a little different in here tonight. We're working with a much wider lens. So, a lot farther away than I actually am. Well, I look farther away than I actually am. But, the point of this is, is we're still in my laundry room. Um, still, my fish room, my wife is so excited for me to get, you know, moved down to the basement this month. Not, well, in March. I wish it was this month. But I still have a major task that I have to get done here tonight, and we'll explain more here why. We are going to be changing up the entire filtration system in this fish room tonight. All right, so when I say we're changing up the entire filtration system, I'm not talking about we're not, like, we're not, we're not going to stop using sponge filters. We're gonna continue to use sponge filters in mass majority of the tanks. Um, the only one that's not a sponge filter there is the hang on the back that we did the uh, review of. That's the, the, the Marineland Penguin 350. But what we are going to be changing tonight is currently, right now, you can see I am running all of my sponge filters off of the USB air pumps from Aquarian Co-op. Now, these air pumps are fantastic. They have such good applications for things. Uh, they work really well. Like, I'm like... Every tank is being powered by these, and I've had no problems with them. Like, the bubble output over there on the goldfish tank is amazing. So they are fantastic pumps. We will be doing a video uh, reviewing all of those pumps and why I use them and why I like them. But I have to get ready. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, if, if you follow Guppy Guru on Instagram, <coughs> we've kind of been playing back and forth with some photos. I no longer have guppies in my fish room. I traded them to Peter with Guppy Guru and we'll be eventually uh, getting a fish from him. Gonna do a whole video on that, it's gonna be great. But I do have new fish landing tomorrow. So for the time this is being filmed, tomorrow morning I have new fish coming to this fish room. So excited for these fish. And then again in a couple weeks, I'll have more fish landing. Now the fish landing are all preparation for things that are coming to the channel. By the time this is aired, you'll probably know some of those changes. But what I need to do is, I, I, I need to change around some of the tanks that I'm using. So down below, see if I can tilt you down. So down below, we have the 55 holding all the fish that are gonna go into the 220. We have you know, the filterless tank over here, a fry tank we're gonna get into, uh, but in the corner we have a 29 gallon, then I have two 20 gallons down here. So that's like the whole overview of the fishing right there. Now, the reason I kinda built this originally the way I did was to pack in as many tanks as I could, you know, get kind of settled, adjusted, get ready for the new fish room. But now that that new fish room is coming, and I know what I'm doing, and I had an opportunity to buy some fish, we gotta change, make some changes. So, the guppies are gone. Um, we've, I've actually decided, I'm, gonna, I'm selling the goldfish. I haven't really done a video on these guys. They are absolutely gorgeous. Just not, they're not gonna fit into my, I had a long conversation with myself, they're just not gonna fit in the plans that I have now, and I'm really excited for. So I do have a buyer coming down from Wyoming. So I know that they're, they're gonna go to a good home. Uh, the tank's not going anywhere. <clears throat> so we'll, we've, we've talked about this tank in the past and I can leave card, a card to that up in the corner talking about that tank. But what I have going on here is tonight we need to change out the 220s. We're gonna put some 10 gallons down there. Uh, I thought about changing out the 29 gallon, but it has my Javanese rice fish, which Javanese rice fish, which are breeding really well. It's where all the mystery snails are, and the plecos just had babies in there. So I am not gonna mess with that tank at all right now. So the goal is to add a couple 10 gallons down below. Then we're gonna add another five gallon tank over by the filterless tank and the other five gallon tank. And that should hopefully give me enough space um, to get all the fish coming in, in quarantine, and kind of have their own tanks. So it's gonna be a long process, but the way we're gonna, look, now getting into the main portion of this video, I'm running, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I'm running nine air pumps in my fish room right now. Now they're not all drawing a lot of power, because they're little USB ones, they're really nice. 
but that's 10 plugs. Okay, I can't do math. That's nine plugs that I'm using right now on a power strip. So it's the cord management is insane. We are going to change this over to running all of these tanks with one air pump. Now the way that we're gonna do this, and um, this is the air pump I'm going to be using. So it is a little noisier. That's one thing I really like about these USB air pumps, how quiet they are. But this is an active Aqua brand air pump. I mean, you can, these go by so many different brands. So I will be leaving links down in the description below to some Amazon affiliate links. But this pump pushes out 45 liters of air. It's a move in a lot of air. Now the main way we're gonna do this though, is it comes with what is called a gang valve. This pump pushes air to this valve, which then has six separate connectors for airline. Now these work really well if you have tanks in a small area, you know, and you don't wanna run a full closed loop air system like I had in my previous fish room. I will be doing something similar again in my new fish room. So we're gonna be visiting some DIY options of these gang valves. But this I bought off Amazon. I think the whole pump itself was like $45. I could be wrong. It's been a few years since I've actually had this pump. But these gang valves are very simple to use and you can control the flow of air through each valve. Now the metal ones are very nice. You can buy these on Amazon for fairly cheap. Um, this pump did come with it, so it's, rate, it's set up to be attached with this tubing here to the gang valve. But outside of that, you can buy these where just a regular airline will plug into these and then you can have the different valves. Now another option you have is more of these, these plastic ones. So this is an Imagitarium brand from Petco. Um, I honestly ordered one from Amazon but it did not get here in time and I've gotta get this done tonight. But it's the same concept, this one's designed where it can hang on the lip of a tank that way it can be out of the way. And then you have four valves, all controllable, that will run air. Now what it does though is in the bottom, this is rated for just a regular airline. So you could get like a Tetra Whisper pump, I, the USB air pumps aren't gonna have enough power to run all four gang valves. But regular airline plugs in, regular airline goes to each thread, and then from there you can spread out to your sponge filters. That's what I'm going to be doing. So the these are going to be working in conjunction tonight. One, I wanted to show you both options, you know, the metal valves versus the plastic valves. But what I'm gonna be doing is I'll be running air, tubing from one, one of these valves to this valve, which then will power four of these. And there should be enough air coming out of this that I will be able to do so. So I'm gonna be able to run nine sponge filters off of this um, maybe even more if I wanted to run more gang valves. So different options, it's very simple to use. Um, it's, and because of the small, the small space, it works. So when we build the new fish room, I'll teach you again how to do a full closed loop system. It's gonna be great. Um, but yeah, all you need is this cheap airline. Um, I just picked up, so again, it's the Magitarium airline. Because of what I ordered on Amazon, didn't come in in time, that's okay. So we're gonna get started hooking all this up, changing the tanks out, and we will visit you back when we're in the process of that. I'll show you how all this comes together. All right guys, so there we have it. There it is, there's the fish room. Um, oh, Tucker wants to come say hi. So I just got done setting everything back up, uh, but this is the plastic gang valve, I was telling you. So I have one central, one line from the main pump running to that. And then I branched off from there. The four ports are running now these four tanks down here. So instead of the two 20s, I now have a 10, 10, 10, and a five. So three 10s and a five. And that's all being powered. One line to the gang valve. And then each other line will run down and out. And then down here is the pump with the six. So I am running the two sponge filters in the 29 gallon and the two sponge filters in the 55 gallon on each of their own lines. And I'm gonna be branching off right now. 
the fry tank is being run off its own line, but I'm going to set up another five gallon right here, and then the sponge filter up here. All of those three will be run on one line, but that one pump, that one pump down there, <coughs> doing 45 liters of air, is running a sponge filter or numerous in every tank down here besides the filter this tank. So I am very happy how this turned out. I mean, it is. It's a mess of it's a mess of airline. It really is like I just ran the airline everywhere I could. Uh, this really works well if you have like a small rack, if you have a couple tanks, you can get a smaller air pump and run a couple tanks. So I mean, a, 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 definitely a smaller air pump would run you know three ten gallon tanks off one game valve. So there's there's ways to do this, but it's a really cheap option. And it gives you so much just variability of what you can do with it. So I mean, I'm very, very pleased how this turned out. And I, I mean, I'm so excited. Like this tank, we're getting new fish in. <coughs> new fish are going over here. I have new fish in that tank. So I, I don't know exactly when this video I'm going to put this out, but I am so excited how this turned out. It's, it's such a cheap option. It's running so much better, so much easier now too, because if I want to kill, let's say I'm doing water changes, and I want to cut off the power, you just unplug one pump and it kills everything. So I really hope this helps. Um, these gain valves are so easy to use, so simple to use. And I am running all the aquarium co-op sponge filters. I uh, still need to do a full review on those. I really like them. So that I am, I'm gonna call it a night. I still gotta come cut lids for each tank down here. So, quick overview of the fish room right now, um, which is I'm honestly like, is honestly my laundry room. So when I say it's it's my my fisherman laundry room, I'm not joking. So we need to do. I'll do before I break this down to move downstairs. I think I'm definitely gonna do a. I owe you guys a full overview, like a full tour of what we have going on right now. So me and Tucker are gonna call it a night. We gotta wrap some things up. Hey, Tucker. Yes, here you go. So guys, thank you so much for joining me, and we will see you guys for the next one.